Pakistan has always tried to revive the issue of Khalistan, a separatist movement that is long dead. Through various means and strategies, Islamabad tries to instigate Sikh youth in India and abroad with the objective of spoiling their future. Narco-terrorism is one such means. On various occasions, Indian security forces have successfully busted the narco-terror module of Pakistan. Recently, the National Investigative Agency filed a charge sheet against seven Khalistani operatives involved in park bag smuggling. In June 2019, two bikers at a bus stop in Amritsar threw a bag when stopped during regular checking. The cops recovered a bag and seized hand grenades and a mobile phone from it. Investigations later revealed that the two accused Jajbir Singh Samra and Varinder Singh Chahal were part of a narco-terror module involved in distributing the heroin smuggled from Pakistan. They were working on the directions of Pakistan-based terrorist Harmeet Singh alias PhD. Now in a major development, the National Investigation Agency has filed charges against seven alleged Khalistani operatives in this hand grenade seizure case. The sources of terror funding have always been things like smuggling, uh, like drugs, like black marketing, and so on and so forth. So we need to remember that, you know, the uh, uh, possible, uh, and, and we have to be careful about this, the possible uh, re-emergence of terrorism in uh, Punjab, uh, spearheaded by these Khalistanis, uh, with this very dangerous development of grenades being uh, discovered, is almost certainly funded by the drug money that you uh, 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 see floating around in Punjab because as you know Punjab has a huge drug problem. Uh, there's almost no doubt about it that this is also being funded by Pakistan. The Punjab has not experienced a surge in terror activities in the recent years. There is no doubt that from time to time some Khalistani elements show their presence in the state. The nexus between Khalistani groups, ISI and smugglers are raising drug money to support militancy in Punjab while destroying the youth with drug addiction. Recent arrests point to Pakistan's game plan of reviving the Khalistan movement by using the local criminal network in India. Moreover, Indian security agencies have, in recent months, seen increased activity along the international border in Punjab with the delivery of drugs increasing. Notorious ISI and pro-Khalistani groups are using drones to make such deliveries possible across the border. According to the report, Pakistan's bigger plans of narco-terrorism released by South Asia Democratic Forum, seizing of drugs by Indian security forces signifies increasing actions by drug merchants in each quantitative and qualitative phrases. Moreover, it exhibits Pakistan's larger plans to hold out disruptive actions in India. We've seen this in Canada, we've seen this in the UK. There's significant intersectionality now between the Khalistan lobby and the ISI, uh, mainly through the Pakistani expatriate community. And what we've seen, of course, is the fact that uh, before what used to happen in the 80s and 90s was that the ISI used to pay Khalistanis to carry out acts of terror. Today, it's the other way around. Uh, uh, one part of this deal has been that uh, a corridor that's been given uh, almost as a quid pro quo uh, for funding uh, uh, Pakistani covert activities. When Pakistan could not succeed in its nefarious designs by sending terrorists and weapons, it hatched a conspiracy to smuggle drugs into India. However, Indian security forces are vigilant enough to bust such narco-terror modules formed by Pakistan and its agencies. Islamabad should understand that it cannot achieve its goal of forming a separate Khalistan, either through conventional war or through other conspiracies.